division in modular arithmetic now this always gives students problem and a lot of puzzle um there's a lot of puzzle under this particular division in modular arithmetic but i won't explain it to you so you understand very well how it works now look at this question now they said find the values in the module written written beside them now this is the model this one is straightforward now this is what you do this is what you do for everything just chill out you know 8 divided by 2 means 8 over 2 hmm? equals to x i don't know the number i don't know what this answer will be but i know it's a mod 3 now you cross multiply so you have 2x equals to 8 when you cross multiply did you understand now because of you can make you can let, let uh, find s now you divide both side by what both side by 2 i'm i'm explaining to you best of your knowledge this is 4 so you have 4 mod what mod what mod 3 and when you have 4 mod 3 it means 3 divided by 4. 3 divided by 4 is what? Is 1. So the answer is 1, remainder 1, Abby. 3 goes in 4 is 1, remainder 1. So you write the remainder 1. Then you have what? Mod what? Mod 3. This is how you go about it. Let's check the next one. You have 28 over 7 equals to x. So in this one, you what? You cross multiply also. This is over 1. You cross multiply. So you have 7x equals to what equals to 28 now this 7 is divisible by both of them so you can divide by 7 divide by what by 7 7 here is what 7 cancel 7 7 here is 1 7 goes in on 28 7 times 4 is 28 so because this 4 is smaller than this 5 you can write it straight forward that will be 4 mod what mod 5 <laughs> you love this abby this is very simple now we will go to the more complex one where you find it difficult I've cleaned that one. Just pause the video and and just copy the, the, the question. So there's no time. I want us to be fast with this thing here. So I have to clean up this thing. Sorry. But you can pause the video as I was doing it then. Pause the video, copy the question. When you do it on your own, you learn by doing. Once you start doing it on your own, then you know that what you understand what is there. Now the next one now we have what? We have 92 divided by 10. Now we have what 92 divided by 10 hmm, equals to x. That was how we're doing. So what are you going to do? You cross multiply, right? So you have 10x equals to 92. Now the problem now is that this 10 here is not divisible by what? By 92. You get a decimal point. So you now check how you can be adding. You now check how you can be adding. 444 to this number here to make it divisible by 10 is in modulo 4. You find a way to be adding how, how, how are you going to add 4 to this 92? 4 to 92 so that you'll be able to divide by 10. On the first one, I said 92 plus 4. I'll get 96. It's not divisible by 10. 96 plus 4. Because of the 96, I'll get what? I'll get 100 very well. It's, can, it's divisible by 10, right? That one is done. So it means here will be what 10x. It can equal to what? When you had 4448, four, four I will get 100. So when I divide both sides by what? Both sides by 10. Both sides by 10. 10 cancel what? 10, are they? 10 here is 1. 10 here is what? Is 10. So you have 10 mod what? Mod what? Mod 4. But note that this 10 is bigger than this 4. This mod 4. So you have to divide. 4 goes in 10 is what? One. Uh, it is 2 give me the 2. So your final answer is what? 2 mod what mod four so that is your final answer did you get that logic now did you get it i'm sure you will surely get it but let me shock you some let me shock you now somebody can continue adding to it if i had 96 plus other well this will be if i had 100 plus 4 i have 104 plus 4 108 plus 4 1 1 plus 4 is 1 1 12 plus 4 is 1 16 plus 4 is what 120. Am I going to get to something like 100 can divide? So you get more than this 100, but we are still going to look at this by the time you start looking at what at equation under modular arithmetic. Now let's move on. Let me give you another one. I don't want us to stop here. Let's look at another one. Let me clean everything here. Let me even clear everything off. So now let's assume we are giving something like this. That asks us to divide something like this. Sorry, this is taking time. Okay, 
Now, we are asked to divide something like this. Let's assume we are given um, 42 hmm, divided by what? Divided by 11 mod what? Mod 2. Then another one we have what? 17 divided by the modulo. So you circle it. Divided by what? Divided by 9. You have what? Mod what? Let me say this one is mod 2 also. Now, this one now, 42 divided by 11, what I, you have to write 42 divided by 11 means over 11 equals to x. I don't know the answer. So I'm going to cross multiply. When I cross multiply, I have what? 11x equals to what? Equals to what? 42. So how am I going to add? Uh, no, it's 2 that is there. How am I going to be adding 2, 2, 2 to this one so that it will be divisible by 11? If I say 42 plus 2, <laughs> I think that one is straightforward. 42 plus 2. I will get 44 plus 2 I will get 46 plus 2 48 plus 2 50 plus 2 52 plus 2 54 plus 2 56 plus 2 58 plus 2 60 I can never get something that you should be able to divide by 11 so it should be 44 I'll stop so it means this to now be 11x equals to what 44 you call the reason why you're adding 2 to it is because it's a mod 2 so you divide both sides by what by 11 when you divide by 11, 11 cancel 11. So 11 here is 1, 11 here is what is 4. So it means x equals to 4. Now, know that this 4 is bigger than what is here. This is what we have. We have 4 mod what? Mod what? Mod 2. So because this 4 here is bigger than this 2, so you have to divide. 2 goes in 4 is what? 2 remainder is 0. So you are going to write the remainder. So your final answer is going to be 0 mod, mod what? Mod 2. So this will be your, what? your final answer. Let's look at the last one then. 17 divided by 9. Let's look at that together. Oh, no problem. So let me just clean this up. So we have 17, 17 divided by 9. 17 divided by 9. So 17 divided by 9. So this is the thing we are going to do. 17 over 9 equals to what? X. Now you cross multiply also. When you cross multiply, you have nine x equals to what? Equals to um, seventeen. Now you may try. Uh, what is more cross It means seventeen here multiplied by one seventeen. Nine times s is nine x. So is in mod two. What are you going to be adding to this two? How are you going to be add seventeen to two? That will be able to divisible by nine. So when I say seventeen plus two, I have nineteen. Nineteen plus two, twenty one. Twenty one plus two, twenty three. Twenty three plus two. 25 25 plus 2 27 9 can go in 27 okay 27 plus 2 29 29 plus 2 31 31 plus 2 33 33 plus 2 35 35 plus 2 37 37 plus 2 39 39 plus 2 42 now continue are you 43 or um, 42 um, 40, um 49, 49 39 plus 2 is 41 sorry it's not 42 41 then 43 uh, I think 43 yeah 41 from 39 plus from 41 41 plus 2 should give me 43 43 plus 2 is what 45 now you see now this is like this thing here 9 can go in this uh, 9 can go in this 27 it can also go in 45 now let me show you something when you divide both sides by let, let me turn, let me say now this one here you have I just want to show you something that this thing it can be tricky at times. I want to get to, I want you to get that logic there. Now let's go together. Now in this one now, when I said now, when I said uh, now we have nine hex hmm, equals to, because when you add it to you got to a twenty seven. So when you divide divided by what divided by nine divided by nine nine cancel nine. Nine here one nine here is what nine here is what is three. So you have what you have here you have three what mod what mod what mod 2 so because this here is 3 you have to divide it by 2 2 goes in 3 that is 1 we made that 1 right that is 1 mod what mod what mod 2 now when we check the next one that is 45 when we say 45 divided by what divided by 9 45 divided by 9 is what is what is 5 5 times 9 is 45 so you can still use this one it means it's not only one value it can be 5 hmm? 5 what mod what mod mod what mod 2 so 
So when you divide it, 2 goes in 5 is what? Is 1 remainder what? Remainder 1. You still get the same thing here. So 2 goes in 5 is 2 times 2 is 4 remainder 1. So you still have 1 mod what? Mod what? Mod 2. So you don't need to go through all this stress. With this number, this answer here, you are through what? You are done with your answer. Because it means your answer is 1 mod 2. You don't need to go further. But in simple equation in, log in, 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 in modular arithmetic, you look at how you can get more than one number in this. So that is the let's move on to what to simple equation, which should be our last part in what modular arithmetic. Thank you.